Hi. Uh, come join me for a half a class. Come down to your mat. Lie down. Take the soles of your feet to the floor. Arms alongside your body, shoulders drop back. Back of your head on the floor, back of your neck long. Feel your feet connect down. A sense of grounding through your feet. A sense of opening through your chest. Just feel the weight of your body supported by the floor. Find your breath. Soft, steady, natural breath. Breathing in, feeling space. Exhaling, feeling a sense of softness coming over you. A sense of being rooted down toward the earth into its Strong steadiness. Feeling your breath as it expands all around your heart. And a sense of, I am here, I am present, I am aware. Let your knees float in toward your tummy. Take your hands around your shins or your knees and just hug them in. Stretching into your low back. Breathe. Let your knees come wide, your feet together. Reach your hands for the outer edges of your feet, drawing your heels in toward your tummy, knees wide, just stretching into your groins, your hips. So hands on the outside edges of your feet, elbows inside of your knees, come to happy baby pose. Soles of your feet face the ceiling. The weight of your hands drawing your knees down, stretching into your thighs. Extending through your low back. Feeling a sense of grounding through your shoulders. Release your hands, bring your knees right above your hips, your shins parallel to the floor. Interlace your fingers behind the back of your head, elbows wide, and just draw your head up, lengthen the back of your neck and let your head rest into your hands. So starting to feel a sense of engagement around the center of your body. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, reach right elbow toward your left knee and twist. Inhale through center. Exhale, left elbow toward right knee. Good, your inhale brings you back through center. Your exhale, twist and reach. Inhale through center. And exhale, twist and reach. Just keep this up at the pace of your breath. Engaging the core of your body, Just creating a little bit of heat as you strengthen. Good, a couple more like this. The next time your left elbow reaches for your right knee, let that be the last one. Come back through center, release your head down. Draw your right knee and take your hands around your right shin. 
Lengthen your left leg along your mat. Press through the sole of your left foot. Wind relieving pose. Elbows, shoulders drop back. Big expansive breath as you take your hands around the back of your thigh. Lengthen your right leg, press through the soles of both feet. You might let your left leg hover up off of the mat, drawing your thigh down toward your tummy. Release your hands. Release the sole of your right foot to your inner left thigh. Bring your elbows out from your shoulders, reclined tree pose. Feel expansive across your chest. Yeah. And then bend both knees, draw your left knee in, hands around your left shin. Lengthen your right leg along your mat, press through the sole of your right foot. Just drawing your left knee up. Taking your hands to the back of your left thigh. Lengthen your leg, reach through the soles of both feet. You might let your right leg hover. Just moving into the back line of your left leg. And breathe. Release your hands. Right leg comes down, sole of your left foot to your inner right leg. Elbows reaching out from your shoulders, cactus arms expand across your chest. And breathe. Maybe inviting some big audible exhales out of your mouth. Bend both knees, soles of your feet to the floor. Heels under hips, you can keep your arms as they are. Spread your toes, draw up through your arches, root through your heels. Press into your feet and draw your hips up. Feet rooted, strengthening your hamstrings, opening up through the front of your body. Slowly, with control, your hips draw down. Press to your feet on your inhale. Draw your hips up. And as you exhale with control, release down. Good, three more like that. Breathing in, engaging your legs. Opening up through the front of your body. Exhaling down. Two more. Good, last one. Draw up, reaching your knees toward the front of your mat. And then releasing all the way down. Draw your knees in, take your hands behind your thighs. Roll up and over to all fours. Send your knees back under your hips. Plant your hands under your shoulders. Engage around the center of your body and work through your spine, breathing in, collarbones lift. And as you exhale around your spine, drop your chin, open up through your back. So inhale, open up. And exhale, round, press the floor away with your hands. There's an engagement around the core of your body. Good, two more like that. Breathing into cow, opening up, expanding across your collarbones. Exhaling to cat. One more. Round, release back, extended child's pose. Reach your arms forward, forehead down. Elbows come down, pause, drawing back down toward the earth, back into yourself. Shh. 
shoulders draping forward. Take your gaze toward the front of your mat, plug your fingerprints in, lengthen through your arms, drop your chest down. Make this really active. Just wiggle your fingers forward, just extending under your armpits through your upper ribs. Yeah. And then plant your hands, come up, turn your toes under, downward facing dog. A little softness in your knees. Heels dropping toward the floor, spread your fingers. Draw up through the palms of your hands, lengthen your spine. Your gaze comes between your feet and then walk your dog, bend one knee, press the opposite heel down and then the other, Just back and forth. Stretching into your calves, Just feeling this first down dog such a happy pose. Good, and pause. Walk your feet halfway up your mat and take your feet wide off the edges of your mat and come into a forward fold with wide parallel feet. Crown of your head facing the floor, sitting bones lifting up behind you. And bring your hands just below your knees. Lengthen your spine. Lengthen your neck. Halfway lift. Nice long spine. Just turn toward the camera. Good. And then bring your right hand across to your outer left knee. Your left arm reaches across your low back. Left fingers to right hip. Draw left shoulder back, extend through your spine. You can turn your gaze up or turn your gaze to the left. Revolving your spine. Yeah. And then take your left hand across to your outer right knee, cross your arms, draw yourself in closer. Release your right hand, lengthen your spine again. And then take your right hand across your low back, draw your right shoulder back. So as you revolve your spine, you're also extending it so you're not dropping in toward yourself. You're keeping length through your spine. And breathe, opening up across your chest. Yeah, good. Both hands come back to your shins. Lift up halfway, extend your spine. Press into your feet, rise all the way up, arms, sweep out, up, bend your elbows, frame your head, root your feet, lift up through your elbows, take a breath in. As you exhale, reach your right elbow down, lift your left elbow up, just opening up through the left side body. So your inhale brings you through center. Exhale, come to the left. Good, breathe in, lift up. And come over to the right. And then rise up. And over to the left. Good, come back up, lift your arms up. And then take your hands to your low back, fingertips facing down. Root through your feet and your legs. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Draw your elbows back. Lift your gaze, standing back bend. Shoulders draw back, lift your heart. Hips, legs, and feet stay steady. Lifting your heart up toward the ceiling, up toward the sky. Opening up through the front of your body, but not compressing into the low back. Keeping length. Yeah, good. And then come back up, hands to hips, step your feet together or hip width apart. Right at the top of your mat. And come into chair pose, take a seat into your heels, rooting your feet, opening up through your chest, take a breath in. 
As you exhale, lengthen your legs, fold forward, Uttanasana. So your inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Your exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Good, inhale into chair. And exhale, fold. And again, inhale into chair pose, lift. Exhale, fold forward. One more, come back into chair. Sink into your heels. Bring your hands to your heart. Shift your weight into your right leg and just lift your left foot off of the floor. Balance. Good. And then draw your left knee up. Take your hands around your shin. Hug it up nice and high. Yes. Arms reach up, step back with your left foot. Lunge, right foot forward. Reach through your back heel, lengthen. Make sure you're not overarching your back. So draw your tummy back. Bow forward, long spine. Hands come down, left knee comes down. Top of your left foot comes down. And then rise up, Anjaniyasana, low lunge, crescent moon. Bring your hands to your heart. Turn your chest to the right. And just catch your left elbow outside of your right thigh or on top of your thigh. Draw your right shoulder back. Take your gaze back. You might make a fist with your left hand, right palm over it. Press right hand into your left fist. See if that gives you a little bit more rotation. Good. Gaze forward. Hands come down. Turn your back toes under. Lift your back knee. Step back. Downward facing dog. Breathe five breaths. Child's pose is also available. And then take a walk up to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Just take your hands behind your calves, maybe interlacing your fingers, drawing your chest in a little bit closer. Release your hands, come back into Utkatasana, chair pose. So sinking into your heels. Nice deep seat opening through your chest. Bring your hands to your heart. Shift your weight left, lift your right foot off of the floor, come into balance. Shoulders moving down away from your ears. And then press into your left foot, lengthen your leg, hug your right knee up nice and high, lengthen. Breathe. Big step back with your right foot, high lunge. Sink into your left heel, open your chest. And then bow forward. Hands come down, right knee comes down, top of your right foot comes down. And lift up, crescent moon. Lift your gaze, lift your heart, Anjaniyasana. Yeah. Gaze forward, hands to heart. Turn your chest to the left, catch your right elbow. Outside of your left knee, twist. Make a fist of your right hand, left palm over your right fist. Just press your left hand into your right fist so you can get a little bit more twist. Good. Gaze back, turn your back toes under, lift your knee, hands come down. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Pause and breathe here or in child's pose. Feeling length through your spine. You might bend your knees, draw your belly toward your thighs, expanding into the sides of your body. And then 
then make your way up to the front of your mat. Fold. Rise all the way up. Reach. Hands come back to your heart. Gaze at your fingertips. Pause. Breathe. Your next inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extend your spine. Hands come down, right foot steps back, lunge. Rise up, high lunge. Big, strong, expansive high lunge. Good, bow forward. Take your right hand to the floor. Your left hand to your left hip crease. Draw your left hip crease back as you twist. Draw your left shoulder back. Expand right across your chest. You might lift up your left arm. Twisting lunge, reaching through your back heel. Gaze to the floor in front of you. Left hand comes down, standing split. Right leg comes up behind. You might balance this. You might take your hands off of the floor or to your ankle. Good, hands come down. Bend your left knee. Take your right knee right behind your left and come and sit down, preparing for a twist. So left foot outside of right knee, but if that lifts your hip too much, bring your left foot in front of your right shin. Hands around your shin. Lengthen. Right arm around left shin. Left arm draws up. Left shoulder and arm sweep. Oops, back behind you. Draw your left shoulder back. Expand right across your collarbones as you twist. Plug in your left big toe. Feel length through your spine. Twist starting from deep in your body around your navel. You take your gaze over your right shoulder and then turn to the front. Take your left leg back behind you and come into pigeon. So bending your right knee, plugging your fingerprints into the floor, lift yourself up and then make your way to forearms or to stacked fists or all the way down. Just find your expression of pigeon. Pausing with your breath. Good, two more breaths. Lift your gaze, draw your hands back. Rise up, open up. Turn your left toes under, press through your heel, lift your knee, plant your hands, come into plank. Bring yourself all the way down, touch your forehead down. And then come into Sphinx Pose, bring your elbows under your shoulders. There's a heaviness through the tops of your feet and your thighs, your hands gently drawing back the front of your mat getting that opening through chest and abdomen. Just five breaths. Good. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, look back over your right shoulder. <laughs> Sorry about the dog booty. Inhale through center. And as you exhale, look back over your left shoulder. Good, come back through center. Draw your hands back, turn your toes under. Downward facing dog. Gaze between your hands, right foot steps up, lunge. Lift up, high lunge. Nice strong high lunge. Engaging around the center of your body. 
Good, bow forward. Bring your left hand to the floor, your right thumb to your right hip crease. Draw your hip crease back. Draw your right shoulder, take your gaze back, twist. And then right arm can reach up. And open up right across your chest. Good. Gaze to the floor, right hand comes down. Standing split, left leg rises up. The same thing, you might balance this, take your hands off of the floor or to your leg. Fingers come down, bend your right knee, take your left knee behind your right and take a seat. Right foot outside of left knee, lift up, extend. Left arm around right shin, right arm draws up and back, coming into a twist. Standing across your collarbones, your upper chest, your shoulders, dropping down away from your ears. Plugging in your right big toe. Breathe. Feel length from the bottom of your tailbone up through the top of your head. Good. Take your gaze forward. Send your right leg back behind you, coming into pigeon, ekapada. Make sure your back foot's coming right out behind you. Plug your fingerprints in and open up. And then make your way into your version of pigeon. So your head might come down. You might come to your forearms, let your head gently drop forward. Feeling a sense of heaviness, a sense of gravity inviting you to come down. Feel your breath as it moves. Your inhale creates space. Your exhale creating softness. Good, two more breaths. Lift your gaze, draw your hands back, lift up. And then come to all fours. Give your hips just a few circles, a couple in one direction and a couple in the opposite. Bring your big toes together, your knees wide, dropping back into a wide knee child's pose, forehead to the floor. Feeling that sense of coming back into the earth element, feeling rooted and stable. And then just lift your gaze and wiggle your left arm under your right, left side of your head comes to the floor and bring your right hand back under your shoulder. Press into your right hand to draw your right shoulder back. Hello, Eddie. Dogs love yoga. Good. So you're gazing to the right, you're twisting, revolving your upper spine. And then we'll just move to the other side. So lengthening your right arm to lift up, release your left arm, and then take your right arm under your left, right shoulder, right side of your head to the floor. Left hand comes under your shoulder, press into it, draw your left shoulder back as you twist. Perfect. Release both hands, come back to all fours. Turn your toes under, downward facing dog. Bring yourself up to the front of your mat. Step, hop, lunge, forward fold. Maybe this time, take a big toe grip. First two fingers between big toes and second toes. Thumb or around the outer edges of your big toes and draw yourself in, crown of your head facing the floor. You can soften your knees as much as you need here. Make this really about extending through your back. Good. 
two more breaths. Release your hands. Come all the way up. Reach up. And bring your hands back to your heart. <sighs> Good. So we're going to come into warrior one. So we're going to take a step back with the left foot, not too far because we want to keep that heel on the floor. Bend your right knee, warrior one. So grounding through the outer edge of your left foot, sinking into your right heel. Your shoulders are square off to the front. Your hips might be too, but not if it's pinching in your low back. If it is, you can angle your hips a little bit. So feel a sense of rooting through your lower body, rising through your upper body. Bring your hands to your heart. And come into warrior three. Left leg reaches up behind. Press through the sole of your left foot so your hips are balanced. Coming into balance. Yeah. Back to warrior one. Lengthen your right leg. And take your hands behind you. Take a hold of your forearms, or you can take the palms of your hands together and reverse namaste. Press into your feet, lift up. And then draw your right hip crease back, come halfway forward. Extend your spine. Good, take a breath. And then continue folding forward over your right leg. Take your gaze to your back big toe. Lengthening through both sides of your waist. Good. Feet grounded, spreading your toes, dropping into both heels. Pressing into your feet to rise up. Hands to hips. Step your left foot forward. Reach your fingertips down toward the floor, Tadasana. Hands to heart, right foot steps back, warrior one, arms lift up. Virabhadrasana one. Beautiful. Feel a sense of lifting and opening through your torso, around your chest. Bring your hands to your heart, Anjali Mudra, Virabhadrasana three. Warrior three, right leg reaches up behind, reaching through the sole of your foot like it's pressing into a wall, expanding across your collarbones. Don't forget to breathe. Good, back to warrior one. Press into your left foot, extend your leg, and then take your hands behind you. You can grab forearms, wrists, reverse namaste, Hips and shoulders squared off to the front. Lengthen. Drawing back at your left hip crease so your hips stay in line with each other. Halfway forward, lengthen. And then folding over your leg, your gaze comes toward your back foot. Good, keeping length through both sides of your waist. Rooting through both feet. Beautiful. Press into your feet, rise back up. Hands to hips, step forward. Arms reach down, mountain pose. Just to feel a sense of steadiness. Bring your hands to your heart. Shift your weight into your right foot. Just begin to ride your left foot up your inner right leg. Come just below your knee. Pressing left foot into right leg. Right leg back into left foot. Lengthening through the crown of your head. Rooting through the sole of your right foot. You might bring your foot above your knee if that's available to you. Arms can reach up, let your tree grow. Breathe in steadiness. 
finding something out in front of you to softly hold your gaze on, your drishti, your gazing point, soft, steady gaze. Head, hands to heart. Release your foot down. Weight shifts left, just slowly climb. Right foot up your inner left leg. Lift your sternum into your thumbs. Smile. Your foot might come higher, your arms might reach up, let your tree grow. Just feeling that sense of grounding toward the earth, drawing up stability from the earth. Fingers and crown reaching toward the sky. Hands to heart. Release your foot down. Take your hands to your hips. Just pedal your feet out. Good. Come back up to the front of your mat. Hands to heart. And breathe in and reach up. Exhale, fold into yourself, extend your spine, hands come down, step back into plank, reaching through your heels, reaching through the top of your head, and then lowering all the way down, forehead to the floor, arms reach back alongside your body, take your palms down to the floor. Feel a sense of anchoring through your pubic bone. We're going to come into locust pose. So we're going to reach through your feet. Let them lift. Hands lift. Shoulders draw back. Gaze lifts. Your gaze comes right to the floor in front of your mat. Expanding across your upper chest. Extending through your body. Good. Two more breaths. Stack your hands. Rest your forehead down on the backs of your hands. Let your hips rock from side to side. Roll over onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Big toes together. One hand on each kneecap. Circle your knees away from each other and back in. Massaging over your low back. Draw your knees in, let them rock from side to side. And then pause. We're going to come into an inversion. So you have a few options. You can bring your hands down. Just lift your legs up, bring your feet above your heart and your head. If you're near a wall or a chair or a sofa, you might lift your legs up. You might take your feet and your calves to the chair, to the seat of your chair or sofa. Or you could come into shoulder stand and catch the backs of your hips, your weight on your upper arms. So wherever you are, find your breath. Feel a sense of everything slowing. So if you're in legs up the wall or legs on sofa or chair, feel free to stay there if you'd like. Otherwise, bring yourself down and bring yourself into Shavasana, lengthening your legs, taking your feet wide, your hands wide, snuggling your shoulders underneath you, opening up through your chest, just feeling yourself dropping into the stability of the floor beneath you, finding stillness and pause, softness and space, steadiness, let your eyes feel heavy, 
soften around your lips, your jaw, your tummy. Just give yourself a few moments, rest, stillness. So you can pause this video and stay here as long as you like in relaxation. When you're ready to come out, draw your attention back to your breath. Let your head slowly rock from side to side. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your feet, and gently draw your knees in, give yourself a hug. Softly roll to one side, bringing yourself up to a quiet seat with your eyes closed. You might come into a grounding hand mudra if you take index finger and thumb together and place your hands palms down, yana mudra, grounding mudra. Pause. I am grounded. My spirit is grounded deep in the earth. I am steady, strong, centered, and peaceful. I'm able to let go of fear and trust that I am safe. I am worthy of all things beautiful. That's a quote from Carly Marie. Bring your hands to your heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining me.